Well, hi there, I'm Noah Bradley and this is Handmade House TV. On today's episode, I want to share with you how not to chink a log cabin. So stay tuned. Well, thank you for joining me here today on Handmade House TV. Today we're going to talk about how not to chink a log cabin. The number one mistake, the number number one problem associated with improper chinking, uh, the reason why I get so many calls, the reason why I've witnessed so many damaged log cabins uh, is because of this one main issue. And if you've been following along here on Handmade House TV, you know that uh, I've got a little bit of a different take on chinking, but my chinking uh, has proved 100% effective. I've never had problems associated with my chinking. It lasts a long time, and it's the least expective, expensive and most attractive way to do chinking. Uh, and if you, again, I've done several episodes into chinking, but today I just wanted to focus on that one problem. The reason why I get so many calls uh, from individuals who have built log cabins who have had other people build their log cabins and now they're having uh, leaks come into their home they're having a great deal of rot occurring with the the logs the the number one request that I have gotten from my services uh, since I began and back in 1988 uh, is because people will not recess the chinking at the top they won't allow the log to have a drip edge at the top of it and the chinking be slightly recessed so that the water won't flow down and come to that little drip edge and pop off. Let me show you a few images of, of the improperly chink, the way it is done wrong. It, no matter what material you use, if you use cement like I do or you use the high-tech chinking materials such as goop chink, uh, you will find that if you apply it to the top that eventually water is going to find its way behind the chink gap and rot out your logs and cause leaking. So whatever you do, make sure and recess your chinking at the top. And I typically will bring out my chinking all the way to the, uh, to the surface of the, the face of the log at the bottom, but never, never at the top. So please remember that one. If you'd like to learn how to, how to properly chink your log home, of course you can sign up for the Log Cabin Academy where a good part of that almost two hours of material is devoted to exactly how to chink a log cabin. I've never seen proper instructions on how to properly do it. I've seen so many individuals make mistakes. It is extremely rare when I see someone chink a log cabin uh, that, uh, that, that the end result turns out well. I highly encourage you to sign up for the Log Cabin Academy to get that. If you already own a log cabin and you want to learn how to properly chink that, I've recently uh, completed the filming of the, what I call the Chinking Academy. And basically what I've done is I've extracted the two hours of chinking material from the Log Cabin Academy and I've added well over an hour worth of content to that. Uh, what I did is I brought out some members of the Handmade House Guild and I had them uh, give me a hand on chinking the little log shed that I built for the Log Cabin Academy. And uh, I was able to observe uh, several individuals for the first time go through the process of chinking after having taken the Log Cabin Academy course. And from that, I was able to remind myself of the challenges associated with uh, an individual who is chinking the log cabin for the first time. And so I've been able to add that valuable insights that I gained from observing these newcomers to the chinking world. And I think that uh, it'll contribute greatly to the chinking academy. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit of time to do the proper editing and create a web page for it. Uh, but look for the new chinking academy to pop up sometime in the coming weeks. Uh, to be available and it'll be uh, very reasonably priced, less than $100 and in the world of constructing a home and the, in the world of all of the problems associated with improper chinking and how expensive it is to remove the old chinking, repair the damage that it caused and then to reapply proper chinking, uh, it's a screaming bargain. So I highly recommend it. I'm looking forward to releasing that course sometime in the near future. 
So anyway, I uh, want to wrap things up here. Uh, when you do your chinking, make sure and do your chinking as well as you possibly can on your log home, and it should last you your lifetime as a result. So anyway, you guys take care. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Handmade House TV. You guys take care. Look forward to seeing you over at handmadehouses.com. Until, until next week, you guys, we'll see you. Bye now.